Welcome, welcome everyone. It's time for more Cyberpunk 2077. Where last time we helped out a a boxer. I was a little bit interrupted by that car going by with people just shooting at each other. Yes, we helped out Aaron, a boxer who just wanted to be a boxer in some ways. He had been fighting sort of for the animals and they had put in a inhibitor ship so they could sort of uh, make him fold during a fight and thus making money off of him so he didn't want that and we helped him out i wanted to be a little bit more stealthy in that mission but i honestly did not understand how to be more stealthy when we got to a certain point so blades it was lovely now we are going to continue the main story in this episode but first i have gotten a text i've gotten a text from bill New me. So V, sorry I didn't get in touch sooner, but I needed, to, uh, I needed time to process everything that happened in Dodger's Den. How about you drop by the Glen to say hi, lay down my badge to open a business of my own. Bill Mitchell. Who was Bill Mitchell? <laughs> it feels like that was very recently. Bloody hell. Okay, anyway, uh, 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 any, anyway, start for the time, will come eventually, pre what, what kind of biz are we talking about? I should know who this is, but I do not. Go see for yourself, be sure to come by an empty stomach, he'll want a second helping for sure, so he's doing some food stuff, and uh, I do believe that we got indeed Bill Mitchell. Oh, right. I did... It didn't register with the last name for some reason, but basically this is one of the cops that we helped out. So uh, he sort of laid down his badge and became a chef instead. Uh, we also have, uh, yes, Aaron. He's going to come back to us. That's absolutely fine. And we also have the graffiti stuff. And Carrie wants to meet us, but none of that matters. We are doing Lucretia, my reflection. So, uh, right... I mentioned this. We can look at these things. I haven't been doing that, I realize now. So, uh, first of all, back to Land of the Living. Shame Songbird was the price to pay. Think she really kicked the bucket. My gut tells me this fiasco is nothing but a small setback, although my nose did catch the unmistakable whiff of a runner's deep fried grey matter. Now, all this left is surviving NC's most twisted district while babysitting Madame Perez herself. Shit, we take on a simple gig next time, would ya? Now, obviously, for those who don't know, this is basically jolly talking in these little texts. We've read about Dogtown and Rosalind, but what about FIA, Federal Intelligence Agency? So the Federal Intelligence Agency was established in 2006 after the dissolution of the NSA, National Security Agency, and the CIA, so both of which were implicated in organizing an, a conspiracy to overthrow the US government. In theory, it was supposed to take over enjoying their functions, but in practice it remained an un underfunded institution of a marginal importance for almost half a century. This all changed after the ratification of the NUSA Constitution in 2053. The, the FIA, FIA was granted, granted extensive powers and privileges, and a huge budget made it possible to recruit a veritable army of secret informants and equip them with state-of-the-art technology. Since 2065, when Ross and Myers became the NUS president, the FIA has steadily grown in strength. The active participation of agents in the course of the unification war was, has become an open secret. After the war ended, the FIA's involvement in the direct military action was greatly reduced in favor of data acquisition and analysis. FIA agents now conduct intelligence operations around the world, loyally and discreetly pursuing the NUSA's political objectives. The weekly reports that President Myers receives from the FIA's leadership provide her with invaluable knowledge of the plans and actions of foreign governments and multinational corporations, and even a few influential private individuals. Skeptics say that the FIA serves Myers mainly as a secret weapon in her political games against the Militech. The reality? Only the FIA knows. Presumably that, yes. So there we go. We have picked up a bunch of stuff. I think we've already read these. Yes. For some reason, the arcade collection is part of this, but I think that that might just come up because I picked it up during this mission. So let's uh, let's dash jump our way over to where we I need to go in here. Eden Plus. Okay, maybe don't dash jump. Ex explore the place. 
this there might be cool stuff in here. It's a plus after all, which gotta be honest, looking quite cool. Any any relic stuff? No, no relic stuff as far as I can tell. That is not a relic thing. So right then, what we are going to be finding now, I presume, is the sleeper agent that we've talked to the president about. Yeah, Captain Kellyant is where we need to go, and apparently we can't just go in. Apparently we can't just go in. Alright, I see power cables. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we get up there, how? <laughs> well, we can get all the way around there. Yeah, I don't see. Well, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we've got a lot of a place where we can just jump up. There we go. Okay, don't fall down. Not a good idea. Oh, we need to go even higher, do we? Well, this seems like a fun idea. Okay, you know what? Running start. Running start and go! Double jump! Yes! <laughs> Lovely. That was kind of cool. Okay. Get some components and jump up. Uh, yeah, up to that one. This is a bit unusual, but I like it. Okay, you can't go higher though. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Okay, never mind. Here, here we go. There we go. Okay. So, here's the thing, I'm a Bob. Override thing. That was apparently an optional. I'll take it. So now we can enter. Can I get in here? No, we need to just basically go down the same way we came up. Which is fine. Can I do that? Yes, yes, obviously I can. Getting down is way easier than getting up. So there we go. Presumably there would be some sort of entry point around here. I don't know. Let's get down and now we can get in. So, okay. Maybe be a little bit careful. Hello, Captain Johnny. Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Okay, but but notice we have a bunch of shards. So let's start with this one. Road race, quick review. All right, then, presumably not relevant to this mission, but let's read about it anyway. I consider myself a real gamer, and I gotta admit, Road Race was one of the titles I've been looking forward to all year. Nostalgia can be a bitch sometimes, but the devs really delivered on this one. It's an arcade game comparable to the great classics. Gameplay is fairly balanced, and I've sank countless hours into the game already. The devs really took Bushnell's law to heart, as the game is easy to get into, but even the hardcore player's metal will be tested while being quite simple in its nature. I couldn't be more excited about pro tournaments and seeing the scoreboards of players from all over the world. Sometimes it just feels like you can't beat simplicity in its beautiful arcade game form. Smiley face, or winky face even. Okay, we have one here too, if I can just get to it. Truth hidden in plain sight. So we're like uh, animals that have enough self-awareness to realize they're living on a farm, their freedom limited, their death inevitable, yet believing they understand the inner machinations of their small isolated world, imperfect but familiar. The truth as always eludes us. Those in control try desperately to hide the fact that the truth cannot be found within the confines of the farm, but beyond it, below it. This dangerous grim truth, the ones who watch us, control us, rule over us, steer us into our pens so cunningly we are not even aware of it. They offer scandals and outrageous conspiracy theories to excite us, mislead us, and deceive us into believing that we are capable of peeking behind the curtain. They do this to inflate our egos and make us feel smart. There is no better illusion than overconfidence. They condition us to look uh, only where and when they want us to. The true nightmares, these can only be found in the periphery of our perception. Well, it's interesting that you're talking about those in control, but we don't know who they are. But it's they, so they are bad. Whole universes are being created in cyberspace, designed by powerful AIs at uh, the behest of their corporate overlords. But what is their goal? Who or what is their target? What role does the Black Wall play in all this? This digital metaphorical wall of legend erected to shield us homo sapiens from the threat of wild AIs. How do we know it even still exists? How do we know if Militech, Arasaka or Knight Corp even haven't breached it to connect to the other side? Or sorry, contact the other side. 
What if these mysterious beings born in the net have begun to make their way into our world? What if they're here already? Some might argue that a farm animal shouldn't care who their master is, so long as they are provided for with water and food. To those, I offer a warning worthy of the times we live in. Maybe the times has come to bite the hand that feeds. Well, strong words there, but not much truth. We have a computer, we have a thing, a generator. Okay. Power restored to the Cap uh, Capitan Caliente. Can't do anything with that, though. So we have a door here. Okay, so we could have sort of gotten other way around in by any chance maybe not 100 sure some purple stuff don't need the tire iron i'll pick the health booster up not necessary but whatever can get around here sure okay yeah 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 so there was a dumpster we could have moved fair enough we can also is that just uh, that's just a hacking thing we don't need to do a hacking thing that's a-okay. So we can also scan and move an obstacle here for Antique. a phone. Junkie variety. I wonder if it even works. And luckily, 0931 is saved for me because I did not remember that. So, okay. Well, we have a computer first. Let's check, check that out too. Local network. Surveillance system is actually off, but uh, fine. I'll turn it off for reasons. And a bunch of stuff. We have some spam. Do we have all the spam? That's spam. That's spam. That's spam. Also spam. More spam. All the spam. Many more spam. Yes, spam. Also spam. Also spam. <laughs> I think that it was just spam. A Mongol techno shaman from Ulaanbaatar. Okay, lovely. Just, just all the spam messages that are in the game. All saved on one computer. Cool. I think we are all but done here, right? Yeah, that's just a thingamabob. Scratches. Sure. Any other shards or anything i don't think i noticed any so components though yeah i think we're i think we're done so let's phone a number zero nine three one zero nine three one sure hmm Huh. Well, that's a bit cute. <laughs> How do you use this? Oh, come on. Answer. I'll have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Okay. Read. No time for games. Anyone there? No, no, no. Let's call him out. Read. Listen. Got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Here we go. So, name's V. Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. By the way, I'm a bit curious as to why John is dirty. I mean, couldn't he just clean himself up? I don't know. Anyway, one thought that I also have before we go out is that... Of the shards that are saved for this mission, we have the arcade collection. That's for some reason linked. And now we did find a review of a game on an arcade machine. Is there a connection there? I have no idea, but <laughs> I suppose we'll find out at some point. All right, then. time to dash jump our way forward over to a, 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 a basketball church. Sure thing. Is that up by? Is that up by the? Yes, that is up by the the D the D the D. 
the tarot card. So there we go. Now I know which mission took us there. So I was uh, sort of vaguely right in just waiting to do that. Also, anything here? No, I don't think so. I'm not supposed to go up there. Oh, bloody hell. Ugh. Excuse me? What just set me on fire? Is this burning? <laughs> okay, something something put me on fire. I think this is by the tarot card, isn't it? Gonna take Jaden for the next gig. Okay. Why him? He's a weak ass pussy. Yeah, but he's kinda hot. But no, thing is, he got some Nova supplements of Ronald. Ronnie? Shit. Say goodbye to that pretty face. Uh-huh. Where were you when it crashed? Ronald. On the net. Traffic blew up like crazy. Almost made my ice bath boil. What's the word? Was it really the NUSA? I don't know. It was chaos on that chumba. Yeah, yeah. As crazy as it is out here. Uh-huh. Johnny is just sitting the there, but we can uh, check this out. I think you I have what? found it in this world. I did some okay? reloads and stuff. But yep, that was the King of Wands. Okay, let's have a bit of a sit. Best seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. Are we gonna see an actual basketball game? That's interesting. So what's up with the rhythms? How do you mean? <clears throat> You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. I mean, thank you for the suggestion. But it's kind of clear that you don't trust the Myers, and to be honest, I don't think I do either, but still. Metaphor Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. <laughs> Politicians? Worse. Armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. I mean, you do have some experience with that, yes. The trust deserters, told me about that already, could enjoy the game instead. Yeah. Am I what? supposed to... Don't believe me? Am I supposed to trust a deserter now, then? Trust in a deserter. Kinda contradictory, don't you think? If you're gonna book out of the army, you gotta be honest. Admit you made a mistake. And that, dare I say it, takes fucking guts. Desertion is bravery. Now that's Johnny speak, if I ever heard it. Maybe a little. Sue me. One thing I did learn. Kate in blood and mud. I do love Johnny. <laughs> He's fun. Okay, tell me. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? <sighs> Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Okay, fair enough. I gotcha. Don't get dragged into stuff. Got the warning. I'll keep one foot out the door. Too late. Swore an oath to the new fucking United fucking States of America. If you faked it, it makes you a pushover. If you meant it, it makes you a tool. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Uh. Hans, what you holding? 
I got nothing in my hands. Oh, I can talk to Johnny, see actually. You Johnny? Show me. Who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? <sighs> Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. Ah, okay. Well, just, uh, I, I, we I know. Show, Show the token. Got this token. Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? That is kind of cute, by the way, with Johnny. That he doesn't see anything that I don't see. So let's just be uh, clear here. It's Rosalind. Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? Absolutely, but not if we waste any more time, though. Hard to say. The longer we sit here... That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? I dashed uh, so much, no one followed me. No <laughs> tail. Doubt I was tailed. So you didn't check? I see you still got a ways to go. We'll work with what we got. Black Thornton Merrimack, in the street. Three minutes, front seat. Uh-huh. After you, I suppose. Uh, we better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed? Slippery motherfucker. Okay. Interesting. He's not a psycho. Jesus. He didn't kill me, so probably means he likes me. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Well, some sort of candy must be. So, any chance you saw the man that I was talking to? Hey, you see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost. <gasps> hey, I'm just being polite, damn it. Also, there has been no game. You have just been doing the same thing over and over again so yellow yellow guy yeah. not doing too hot anyway so let's uh, make our way up here go and have a chat with the reed because he's apparently over here any relic relic stuff not that i can tell blackthorn all right then get in the car where is reed not here right now Ooh, hello no, not relevant, I think. Maybe. I could just take off with this, can't I? Oh, hello. There he is. I don't think that's a kid flashing coat, though. <laughs> just gotta say. He's being very mysterious and very spy-like. I like it. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever risk so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chung's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. And there we go. There's Idris Elba, the famous person in this uh, in this little DLC. So nothing personal. Absolutely, a bunch of precautions. Hello. Earth to V. Chill out. So precautions, precautions. No, no, no. It's absolutely fine. Nice to meet you too. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Al biz. Well, I kind of am now. You no, know, since yesterday. But okay, what gave it away? <laughs> what gave me away? You got into a stranger's car. You're lucky I am who I claim to be. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Arisak counterintelligence, terminated for undisclosed reasons. Now, a freelance merc, working for the FIA as of last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Okay, Songbird hired me, just a gig, wondering myself. You know what, I'm just gonna go with uh, just a gig here. He may not be impressed by that, but we don't it's, have all day. Uh, it's kind of the truth. Honestly, it's just another gig. Not on the strange side? You'd be surprised. Not unusual in my line of biz. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. 
Okay, well, this is not gonna be to your liking. Just, uh, FYI. Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Well, it's an abandoned building on Elizabeth Cress. Abandoned building on Cress Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. Well, I told you. You left her alone? In Dogtown? I mean, she basically forced me to. And I'm supposed to drag her around. Yeah, exactly. Was I supposed to bring her? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Hmm. Actually? Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. Oh, well, that's interesting. You have a bit of a side vis. Yeah, big step down from a special agent, that. I can think of one thing we have in common. Both got potential we're wasting. Being on Arasaka's payrolls, realizing one's potential? Got a grudge. Saka step on your toes that hard. Yeah, they tried to off me. Botched it. End of story. You tell me. Makes two things in common. Though something tells me we won't stop at that. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ain't no snitch. No, no, no. She does. I had a ciggy on a balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. Very interesting choice of music, too. Very, like, melodramatic uh, piano play here. So, I don't think we need to skip the ride, do we? Because we're basically here, right? Let's go. Indeed we are. So, I did not realize that we were so close to this place. <laughs> All right. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So, this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. I never said 8th floor, did I? How would you know that? I never said that as far as I'm aware. Probably. Anyway, let's uh, take an elevator ride. Absolutely. Oh, yep. This <laughs> was like, it's so much trash in here. How can this be the elevator? But of course it is the elevator, because it's trash everywhere. And who are you people? You're just Frank. With a baseball bat. Hold on, why are you named and have a baseball bat and you're just Dogtown Residence? That's interesting. Alright then, up to apartments. Let's have a chat, I hope. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. She's capable of taking care of herself, you know. I actually had uninvited guests last night. Ejected via the garbage chute. Sometimes that's the only way out. Uh-huh. You're not more concerned about that, I suppose. Well, that's a okay. We haven't really decided on a knock on the door, have we? So are we just gonna if anyone barge had tried right to in? Extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Uh huh. So yes, we don't have a secret knock, but hopefully she'll hear my voice. Open up! It's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm good. Glad to see you are too. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Roslyn. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. 
I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? Well, you're just my He's sidekick. Seen the news. That's that's where you fit in. Uh huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Uh huh. So yeah, who's backing Hansen? Hansen. Any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. Songbird was on board, too. So me. I had a bad feeling about this. But now, now I see why. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. And I have no idea where she is. So it could be that she hit some ice. That's true. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she acted. One little mishap. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? Oh, wait. I don't want him around. <laughs> I don't want him around, so okay. I suppose you people have a bit of uh, talking to do. Smelling some real bad blood between you two. Time to settle this beef. Reed doesn't trust me. I can't say I blame him. I abandoned him in NC seven years ago. He's been stuck here. Paid a high price. Uh -huh. The NUSA crushed his career. While Arasaka tried to have him garroted. Okay, so yes, you did mention being killed. Did you mean physically killed or killed like that? So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep talking to Myers here. You do indeed have a debt to pay here. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough? To get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. And UV. Whatever bond you two have fails to explain why you're here in the first place. I don't know how much they're paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? I mean, right now, no one's paying me. It's just you guys. <laughs> so do this because I need to survive. You're right, I'm out. Ooh, what can I? Oh, that's lovely Hello. as well. Earth to V. Chill out, dude. I'm I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, also, not doing this for the end. Well, yeah, that's kind of true. But you know what? Let's be upfront with you. Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely, poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other too. I mean, hopefully we don't need to uh, actually have him around. And also, by the way, there was just a, a, a thingamajig, flying car or something, is crashing a moment ago. We, we don't have all day. We, we literally did not uh, <laughs> acknowledge that whatsoever. All right, then. Fine. We shall shake hands. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we got to dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, and Formers not afraid to sing. 
who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Uh -huh. Are we talking about Mr. Hans, maybe? Yeah, it won't be easy, though. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Ah, lovely. We don't have to keep you around. Good. So this Thanks. is uh, my hideout now, Perfect. I suppose. Oh, did I not uh, read this? Okay, I, I will in just a moment. Yeah. How about a nice dinner sometime, huh? Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls. You do that. There's a room right next by to this, for sure. Some Myers notes. Did I not read this? Contact Dr. Bear, important. Conference re SFO. Throw under the bus. Media NC Security Dep. Zach Louis. Reprimand Lloyd and Hannah. And warn agency reinstall SR. That would be Saul Reed. No questions asked. Handle the funeral, civil burial, no cameras, come uh, comes to the families, and call mom. So mom's still a around and alive it's me mm -hmm. i need a cab two people so now we have wardrobe now we have all the stuff that we need in here do we have our stash two okay yeah, not the time to dance be not the time at all but sure we also have a place to meditate not rest apparently okay don't know why that is but do we not have our stash is that like in you know this is the toilet this is the toilet with a place to check ourselves. Do we not have our stash? This feels like we should have our stash. Uh, anyway, you know what? That is a good, uh, good at time as any. Ooh, another iconic weapon. Have missed that apparently. Oops. Maybe because it was a gun. I don't care as much for guns in this playthrough. But uh, why do I not have access to my stash? I mean, I can just call a, up a, we a leave. car. Oh, maybe Best I should also listen to your hey, You'll go five talking. minutes after we do. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oops. Well, he had a shot with someone. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll let you know about that uh, dinner at some point. Yeah, no stash. But what I was saying is that um, I wouldn't mind checking out my wardrobe because we have been picking up a whole so bunch of... So how do we get uh, out of this little corner of paradise? Let's just say I would love to hear what you're saying, though. But I promise like to, to wait... Uh, also, I did uh, get that. Water. Okay. Nicer. What do we got? Hello. What's up with this? Why are we looking at this? Seems functional. Pipes seem bad, lens dry. Wonder where they lead. Uh huh. What, why are we. <laughs> why are we doing this now? Okay. Water pipes leading this way, but I. Can't keep following them. Uh, oh, here we go. Homemade water pump. Okay, I can fix this. Lovely. Master cylinder. Someone wanted to connect water to the upper floor. Let's finish the job. But why? <laughs> why are we doing this? Well, I fixed it. So now there's water somewhere. I suppose that's nice. But yes, wardrobe, wardrobe, wardrobe. If I wanted to create a new look, uh, and I can. So what, what looks have we had so far? We had the uh, sort of starter look, the Arasaka thing. We then had the very sparkly one, yes. We had the purple one, I kind of like that one with the very shiny pants, also nice one. A fairly classy one, and now very much a yellow one. So if I were to pick up a new one, like what do we have that's interesting? I don't know if we have anything that's interesting, really. I mean, we have a bunch of, uh, you know, just vests and stuff and complete, complete sets, which is, I suppose, fun. But those are just jumpsuits. Ooh, I kind of like this one, though. <laughs> if I were to drive a car, like a sports car, yes, that would be fine. We also have the yellow shirt or uh, jacket or whatever. Uh, do we have anything? I mean, I still want to re retain my sort of stylish approach. I mean, that's 
That looks very white. It's a, this is sort of the same, but a different colora coloration. And in fact, I have a bunch of these. Yeah, many different uh, colors of these. So that's a blue one. We have a very, very golden one. We have, oh, that's, that's, that's hideous. Then we also have, no, it's still the same. Oh, bloody hell, that's very shiny. Obnoxiously shiny, almost. So that's the more classic one. We also have a, oh, blimey. That's blinding. Really blinding. We have that one and this one. Oh, well, here we go. Now we're talking. Do we have pants that go with this? That is the question. Uh, I suppose these would be the ones. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Found it immediately. Oh, I like this. Okay, so what the shoes do we have with this? Uh, some sort of dress shoe, obviously. Do we go full on blue? Because I think those are a bit blue too, right? This is dress shoes. Classic dress shoes. Yeah, I mean, that sort of suits, but I'm kind of thinking we need something to sort of break off. Yeah, there we go. That breaks off a bit more. And then we need to go for, I think, some glasses. Yes, we can have a ugly mask. <laughs> I don't think I want that. Even though, you know, this would be kind of cool in some ways. But I'm more leaning towards the glasses, as a matter of fact. So we have these. Ooh, very stylish. Those are the yellow ones, but they don't look as good. Johnny's? I don't think Johnny's work so well. So it's got to be either those or like... Uh, how, how do these... Oh, well, here we go. Oh, aren't I smart? I don't know. Do I like this? Do I like this get up? You know what? I'll equip this. I don't think there are any hats that will fit at all. Unless I want like a beanie. I mean, this looks ridiculous, but a little bit fun. Can have a USA cap. Wow. <laughs> all right, there are Guns and Roses. Chill out. Uh, is that a regular cap? I mean, if you wouldn't have it so far down, you can have it a little bit angled up, you know. Or just a lovely straw hat, looking a bit uh, westerny all of a sudden. I can also have a trilby. Oh, would you look at that, though? You know what? I don't have uh, this disapproval of that. I'm going to equip all of this. Lovely. Now, I might uh, change out one of these and make yet another one, but we're trading out the uh, garish yellow outfit which I do enjoy quite a lot, though. We're going for a slightly more uh, modest, in some ways, get-up. Why do I look almost like Sylvester Stallone there? I don't know. All right, then. They have left. Do I need to... Suppose I do need to wait for the game to update here. But uh, still, though, I wouldn't mind finding a stash, but I don't think I have a stash here. So we're going to have to sort that out, because I have a bunch of uh, items that I want to stash at this point. Fair number of uh, iconic weapons. So it would be nice to just get rid of this. Oh, hello. Diary of Tenants. So DIY Wiz had one hell of idea with this generator and a pump to siphon the water from the nearby building. Genius. Brought a cylinder of gas on my own here in exchange for using your stuff. I'm leaving the unit as is. Gas is on me, my treat. To whoever left all this gear, you're a lifesaver. There's a 99% chance I would have made some regrettable decisions without it. So any and all future tenants, enjoy the luxury. So Haley, I ain't much of a techie, but I got a gift of my own. Leaving some brewskis in the fridge. If you manage to get the power flowing, have yourself a nice cold one. Kick back and enjoy. Most other appliances are busted, so I didn't touch nothing in case I'd F things up even more. All I need was a mattress and a bit of R&R before moving on. And then Sam, I took the jacket someone left near the front door. Sorry I couldn't leave something for anyone coming after me. Thank you all from R, whoever R is. So lovely. Now, am I ha do I have to wait a full five minutes? <laughs> Because it kind of feels like I have to wait a full five minutes, which is weird. I'm not going to wait a full five minutes. We're leaving now. So, is there any way to get up one floor? Because the sort of water thing mentioned a floor up. Is it? 
plenty of enough. So can I call it? Uh-huh. Ah, right. <laughs> no, no, I couldn't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Apparently, I was indeed a bit premature there. That's fine. So, Reed, you have messaged me staying in Dogtown. Everything's smooth sailing so far, but the hardest part's round the bend. I'll bust you as soon as we're out of Dogtown, and don't forget to watch your own back. Still a lot of Hansen's patrols on the streets. Lovely. So, there we go. Two days for his phone call. That means that we can do something else, I suppose. So why don't we go and chat with Bill? Have a chat with him. See what it is that uh, he indeed has been doing since uh, since before. I think ground floor is where we want to be for the fast travel point, because I'm not going to be driving all that way. So yes, let's uh, chat with him, and then I'll probably fast forward time a bit between episodes, or maybe at the beginning of the next one. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So let's go and chat with Bill, and hopefully it'll only be chatting with Bill and nothing else. All right, then. We are here. There's just some police here. Hopefully they don't mind me. I don't think I've been in this little region, have I? I don't think so. So hello, Bill. Um, you're not Bill. Your Bill is around the corner. So this is his little place. Still nothing? Well, it's not much, Bill, is it? Break out hot dogs, eat big. Jesus. I mean, it's not the most eloquent place, is it? V! Hey, V! Billy's best scop wieners right over here! Well, isn't this lovely, but what about Charlie? Where'd you leave Charlie? Uh, yeah, he stayed on the force. Keeps his distance. All for the best, I guess. Uh -huh. So, your girlfriend, or whatever it is that she was, how does she like this? Anyway, so, did you just uh, leave by yourself, or did they throw you out? What happened, Bill? The NCPD sack you? Chum, I sacked them. Had enough. All that stress and the Dodger biz? Think I popped two ulcers from that alone. Alright, Bill, hold the deets. <laughs> okay, anywho, brought you here cause... Well, you changed my life, Chum. Wanted to thank you. No, it ain't much, but here, grab some meds. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, judging by your getup, maybe I should be giving you some meds. Yeah, don't, don't be a gonk. Bill, buddy, don't be a gonk. Think you and Stella need him more than I do. You sure? Well, all right. You're a good Chum, V. Thanks for everything. Sure. Actually, it smells pretty good. What you got on the menu? <laughs> For you, anything. What's your flavor? Let's see what you have. You have something special. Military grade lactic acid recyclers. Permanently increase stamina. Permanently? Well, would you know, is that a new thing? Because I don't think I've seen this before in the game. Obviously, we're having that. Permanently increased, you say. Then you just have uh, she's hot dog and chili hot dog and just a hot dog. And finally, the premium hot dog. Why do you spell it like that though? We also have the Nicola, Nicola Blue, Nicola Fire, and Nicola Sakura. Cool. So, a bunch of stuff that we don't really need. But yeah, what's up with the Scop Dog Stand? Scop Dog Stand. Really think that's a good idea? <laughs> Gotta stand for I can run a full-on restaurant, right? True, first step's the hardest, but you still gotta take it. I suppose so, yes. All right, then, Bill. Lovely to have chatted with you. Cool. Let's go into our backpack, into our consumables, and let's... Uh, do I need to use it? It doesn't look like it. Did I just use it immediately? Because it's not here. So presumably I just uh, immediately used it then. That, that must be it, right? Because, yeah, it clearly isn't here. If we go for all items, these are all the new ones. If we just skip down past new items, and down to here, I cannot see it. So yes, I'm going to assume that I just uh, drank that rated. 
We also have uh, the Chimera Core. We don't know what to do with that. I also have... What am I doing with this? You can hang it up in your apartment. Ah, I haven't done that. We have the discount. Lovely. Sliders hideout storage. Oh, right. Did I never use that? Because it feels like I did an elevator access short for whatever reason. I have that. I don't know. But all right, then. I don't want to change anything. Don't worry. So, yes, indeed. Uh, you know what we're going to do? Yes, it's a quick thing. Final here. We're going to bring up the car. Uh, bring up the car. Wait, wait. Bring up the car because, as I mentioned, we can access our stash. Not through here, though. Not through here. Okay, you're, you're returning immediately. We're on our way, already eastbound, no major hiccups. I hope you're staying equally trouble-free. Remember to keep your head down in Dogtown, even when you don't think you need to. Lovely. So open the stash. Here we go. So this is storage. So we want to be in here. We have the Hawk. We have Cheetah. We have Ogu. And we have Roscoe. And I think I need to do this just to get it, this done. So what I need, think I need to do is the red thing there, Smartling Cyberware required, because I think I need to shoot this gun like once. I can probably do this between episodes, I don't think we need to showcase this. So just to get rid of it and be able to store it would be lovely. Now did I have any Iconics here? No, only the one that I am carrying. And I don't think we have any iconic here. Well, actually, we do. Jonas Aviators. You know what? We'll store that away. Absolutely. We can also store Jonas Shoes, Jonas Pants. Okay. Well, we have those equips. Maybe don't do that. Uh, the Samurai Jacket as well. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Nothing else, I think. We have a bunch of stuff that I can sell, it, et cetera, et cetera. But I'll get to that. Don't worry. So there we go. But yes, indeed, we are now at a point where I don't think we really have a whole lot of stuff to do. That's with Carrie. I don't so much care about Carrie anymore. <laughs> Gotta be honest. We'll see what happens with that. I suppose I could go over to Dogtown and maybe go and chat with uh, Mr. Hans. There's a bar here, so I'm assuming that he is at the bar. That would be kind of lovely. So maybe we'll start the next episode with that. That could be a thing, yes. We also have this one, the increased criminal activity. I kind of would like to check that out. Although I do think it's very similar to the NCPD stuff, I think. But anyway, we are going to see what we're going to be doing in the next episode. For now though, this has been Ghostman Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.